The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Friends, we have already started a series about explaining you what abnormal complete hemogram abnormal test results mean and today i'm going to talk about the wbc's uh, we've already talked about rbc's hemogram hematocrit hemoglobin so you can just watch the previous videos in the series and uh, uh, just to find the videos you can write the topic and doctor education on youtube you'll find the videos right so today we're going to talk about what happens if your WBC's counts are high or TLC count, total leukocyte count, WBC count or even the differential counts are high. So if your leukocytes count TLC is high, it can mean a lot of things. Number one, it is in medical terms called leukocytosis. Cytosis means increase in number. Leuco is WBC, white, leuco means white, leukocytosis means WBCs are high in number. That can happen because of infections, any kind of infections, bacterial most probably, most commonly bacterial, even some types of uh, uh, parasitic infections, other infections, the uh, WBC count can increase. Second thing which can lead to WBC count increase are diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis allergies and lupus lupus erythromatosis these kind of uh, diseases can actually lead to a lot of production of wbc's as well as sometimes they they are basically autoimmune diseases so in this kind of case autoimmune diseases you can have uh, increase or decrease number of WBCs. So you have to understand this as well. Then uh, there is there are medicines, medicines like steroids, corticosteroids. If you take steroids by any means, corticosteroids can lead to increased number of WBCs. And because steroid is a stress hormone and stress hormone, any kind of stress in your body actually uh, increases the amount of these WBCs because your body interprets stress like a threat and prepares itself to fight, right? That's why it increases the number of WBCs. Then WBCs TLC count can also increase in physical stress as well as emotional, severe emotional or physical stress, not, not any mild, mild emotional stress. If there is a severe emotional stress, or severe physical stress very debilitating stress then that can happen even due to tissue damage it can happen right whenever there is a tissue damage in the body maybe from burns if you've got burnt somehow and if you have a muscle injury or a broken bone or a heart attack even without infection you can have high wbc's right then if you have maybe leukemia blood uh, leukemia in that case also WBC counts can become very high so and th these are all the things which can lead to high WBC so you have to find out whether you're taking any medicines any supplements any infections any chronic systemic diseases leukemias severe emotional or uh, you know physical stress and tissue damage so these are all the reasons for a high WBCs and other tests give us an idea a clue what could be the diagnosis the differential diagnosis and then we can go forward and pinpoint the cause and treat it accordingly so this is how things are done and uh, next time we will be talking about what are the reasons for a lower than normal level of WBCs. This is also called leukopenia, right? Penia. Penia means less. Thank you so much for watching. Stay connected. Stay healthy.